After successfully installing tunnel structures at the Millican and Agincourt stations over the course of one weekend closure, okay, all the 5, pounds, Ellis Don shifts their focus to another extensive scope of work. The next task in the Stouffville Go Line upgrade project will involve moving the existing track that runs over Steeles Avenue to create a temporary track route. Ellis Don can then build a train bridge over Steeles that will keep vehicles moving when trains are rolling through. Once again, this track relocation has to happen during one weekend closure, consisting of a mere 56 hours. The overall product is going to be an underpass that's going to go underneath the rails. We're trying to build a bridge for the tracks, so in order for us to be able to do that, we're going to be moving the tracks over from the construction zone, and then after that, we're going to take our time and our space to build the bridge, and then after that, we're going to be moving the tracks over to the bridge, and then we're going to start the digging underneath. Well, after we start on a Friday evening, we're going to run 24 hours a day up until we finish uh, the, uh, the job over here, and that's going to be on uh, Monday 4 a.m. The closure is in place, and Ellis Don wastes no time in getting to work. An excavator starts by removing the asphalt surrounding the tracks in the intersection. Meanwhile, another crew begins the removal of the tracks themselves. The team works right through the night until the asphalt is removed and the track is no longer anchored down. Next, they cut it free in preparation of the big move. If you want to move any rails, you got to cut them at a, at a particular point, a little too far so you're, so you're able to bend the rails. So we're going to be cutting them far away. We're going to bend the tracks and then all, all the gaps, we're going to be patching them up. And then we're going to be welding the rails back up to connect them all together to be ready for service. As day breaks on Saturday, the team has removed a redundant track section that lies directly in the intersection. They begin to backfill that area and lay in a vital utility line. Now this one over here is going to be running all the signals. Uh, it's Bell 360, which is a very sensitive cable that uh, they got to run across the tracks and, uh, and across fields, obviously. And that's because it just carry a lot of amount of information that cannot be cut off. It's got to keep on constantly feeding the signal and all the information going through. The site continues to be backfilled and leveled, allowing the crew to move the tracks to the other side of the intersection. With the track moved at its midpoint, the sections at both ends need to be realigned and gaps closed. New joining sections of track need to be cut to length and attached one rail at a time. Both track realignment and intersection leveling continue through the evening and into the next morning. At this point, the tampers come through and secure the tracks. And crews begin to lay new asphalt. The tracks are installed and the roadway is repaved. Finishing touches are completed and this job is a wrap well ahead of schedule. Two weekend track closures have now provided three successful and vital pieces of the puzzle for the ongoing Stouffville Go Line upgrade. With an end goal in sight, Ellis Don is providing the infrastructure that is ultimately keeping commuters in the GTA and surrounding areas moving.